Joining us now is co-host of The Five, Judge Janine Pirro. Judge, I was under the weather last week, and you filled in. Thank you so much for that. First of all, you were awesome, Thank my you. friend. Um, what is your read of all of this? First, on the Hunter front. Okay, on the Hunter front. You had the Department of Justice and Abby Lowell, Hunter's lawyer, who worked out a deal that was so preposterous that it would give him immunity and perpetuity that the judge, as you will recall, months ago said, this is absurd, there is no precedent for it, and threw the whole thing out. So now they're scheduled to go to trial, and you've got 120 prospective jurors sitting in the courtroom, ready to go. Everybody is teed up and fired up, and all of a sudden, Abby Lowell says, we want to plead guilty, but we want an Alford plea. An Alford plea, of course, is a situation where the defendant says, um, I'm going to maintain my innocence, but I will accept the guilt and the punishment that goes with it. Now, normally, this is handled with the prosecutor ahead of time, and it is a very unusual kind of plea. And I said earlier today, in 40,000 cases in my office a year, we did it once. And in this case, though, there was no discussion between the prosecution and the defense, and so the prosecutors are furious. The Department of Justice looks ridiculous because they're ready to go to trial, and Hunter Biden wants an Alford plea. And so they obviously were not talking, and the judge says, we're going forward. So what happens is he forces the reading of all of the counts of the indictment, 56 pages, three felonies, six misdemeanors, and Hunter pleads, as Jonathan said, uh, to uh, all of these counts. Now the sentencing is December 16th. But tomorrow, the judge will decide, based upon at least giving the prosecutor an opportunity to argue and say, we don't want you to give him uh, an Alford plea. And by the way, it's the prosecution's decision, not the judge's. And so I suspect there will not be an Alford plea. He has nothing to lose, Laura. He pled guilty to everything. He knows that he's going to get a pardon or at least a commutation. And, and just to your point, these prosecutors have been living, breathing, and eating this case, <laughs> right, case. for months and months. So yeah. they're, like, up all night. They have their Post-it notes. They're getting their presentation. They're opening, closing. And then this. I mean, you just don't do this. This just doesn't no. happen. Talk about ticking them off, and I'm saying that with polite vernacular. Politely. Yes, yes. No, it doesn't happen. These lawyers are ready. They're like gladiators now. They're ready for, like, the cages to open up and they're ready to go fight. And Abby Lowell just comes in and he says, we're going to do an Alford plea. And the, the prosecution says, what are you talking about? But again, the Department mm. of Justice is looking bad as it relates to Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden has managed to make his father look bad, the Department of Justice look bad. And, you know, every, anybody who says that poor Hunter, like Abby Lowell said, he had a drug problem, nobody no, cares. No. It's He's not brave. a defense. And Hunter Biden is the one who made all the money, didn't have to pay taxes on the years that they allowed the statute of limitations to run, Laura. And now he wants to be able to say, I'm not really guilty. Hogwash. No, well, and of course, the big story, in my view, is all the money that was made from overseas interests, which still is outstanding in uh, that case and that examination. Yeah. Uh, and you judge. Know, can I yeah. say one more thing, Laura? Yeah, What's yeah, fascinating but... is uh, I think last month, in a, in a bill of particulars, they came out and they started talking about a Romanian oligarch from whom they got millions of dollars. All of a sudden, they're leaking more information out. And so you know that there was mm. so much there. They couldn't afford to have this go to trial. Nobody but Abby Lowe. Yeah. But Abby Lowell says this is just an act of bravery, yeah, essentially, yeah. at the part of Hunter Biden. Bravery yeah. in this, count your money. Uh, Judge, always great to see you. <laughs> Thank you so you. much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.